Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Aries, I want to wish you guys a very happy Hallow's Eve. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you're able to control your temper, Aries. <laughs> we have uh, Mars being very activated. So again, uh, very, very strong type of energies that we're currently dealing with. We also have Pluto return. Um, so what that means is uh, with Ketu in the Scorpio sign, uh, the eighth house is activated. So everything to do with our darkest hidden desires, uh, taking center stage, um, everything to do with things that are secret or secretive in nature are going to be highlighted here. Um, so again, very major transformative type of energy. Scorpio is all about death and transformation, new beginnings, um, taking a different approach in regards to how we see love, how we react to love, um, in regards to life itself, different perspective on how we view the world. So again, a lot of transformative type of energy. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month of October 2020 in regards to your love life. Now, your first card here is the Devil card. Wow, we have the Ten of Cups. Wow, Aries, you have the Magician. Seven of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the King of Swords. Okay. We're starting off, um, you guys have been having a very strong October, very strong month. Now with the devil card for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. This is Saturn type of energy. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I see air here as well. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra type of energy. Now with the devil card, I feel that in regards to relationships or in regards to love, there is there is certain toxic behaviors that are going to be taking center stage. So what I mean by that is you may find yourself to be in this month extremely sexual. Uh, you may also find yourself pulling a lot of attention or getting a lot of attention, um, perhaps seeing people eyeing you a little bit more than usual, Aries. But this also represents your animal, uh, animalistic side. Uh, the desires, the hidden desires, these are talking about kinks, about things that you're into sexually. And with Scorpio, the eighth house being activated, what this represents is taking acknowledgement of those, of those desires. So have you been suppressing yourself, Aries? Have you been boxing yourself in? Have you been... Have you become a slave to your own sex or sexual desires? Are you pursuing relationships or connections uh, being activated with by your root chakra, meaning you're allowing your sexual nature to take control when it comes to emotional connections? So what we're, what we're talking about here is in regards to love in romance, do you have a tendency of growing tired of people that you deal with? Is it that you are very actively pursuing the people of your interest or the person of your interest, but the moment that you guys become sexually, you know, connected, do you lose interest? Do you start to look towards other places to be able to chase the, the whole thrill of the chase is very important. So these are things that we need to ask ourselves. So when we see the Ten of Cups, this is the desire to experience emotional fulfillment. Do you feel lonely? Do you feel that the past couple of weeks you've been experiencing a lot of restlessness at home? You know, for those of you guys that are single, you go about your day and at the end of the night when you're in bed alone do you feel lonely do you feel that you're not understood do you feel like you don't have that emotional support 
that at this at this point you're acknowledging that you're needing craving or desiring and with the ten of cups this is happiness this is emotional fulfillment this is the desire to create some type of stability with the magician card you have all the tools you're capable of achieving happiness you're capable of achieving a stable relationship you're capable of bringing towards you the person that's supposed to be in your life we're talking about life partner we're not talking about sexual partners do you see what i'm saying did you see what i just did there so what they're telling you is when we break it down right sex is a very important part of relationships it's something that if there's no sexual chemistry there obviously it's not going to work out right but have you made that a priority have you made that too important when it comes to relationships because here's the thing if you're connecting with people if you're connecting with people and you take it to that sex sexual level if there is nothing in common other than sexual desire to gratify yourself or to gratify the person that you're with once that's you know once that's achieved once you've had that pleasure if there is nothing else that keeps you or that makes you want to remain there because there's nothing in common other than the desire then you don't have anything. So that could be the reason why you lose interest. That could be the reason why you're often finding yourself trying to go after the chase. And what they're saying here is with Scorpio and Pluto's energy, it's time to grow up. It's time to let go of your own self-sabotaging behavior that you do. So for some of you guys, this could not, not necessarily represent sex, but it could also represent toxic traits. As an example, it could represent that, you know, for some of you guys, it's putting on a facade because you're so concerned with people accepting you or liking you that you're not able to be truly who you really are. And when they get to know that part of you, they don't recognize you. And you feel like judgment could be coming or like they're going to judge you or like they're going to think less of you if you're not strong. For some of you guys, it could be that you come off extremely strong when pursuing someone. And again, we go back to that of when you have them, your energy is scattered. You're looking towards the right and left. You're, you're looking around. You're not focused. The hanged man is the need to take a step back to analyze, are you happy with these behaviors? Are you happy with where you're at right now? Are you happy with walking away from relationships or cutting people off or becoming so defensive when they start to talk about relationships or monogamy or commitment. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you were dealing with a toxic partner. It could have been a partner that ideally was trying to bring out the best in you, but they were trying to push you to be someone you, you're not. And you tried very hard to be what they wanted, but that wasn't who you are. And what they're telling you is it's time for you to become the woman or the man that you were meant to be. And the only way to do that is to acknowledge, it's to understand why this behavior.
for some of you guys, you could have been exposed to sex at a very young age. And it's like sex or the desire for it has taken over yourself or over your life. Or you're constantly searching for a person that is what you've always imagined or what you've always wanted a partner to be, but is it really realistic? Because once they show you that they don't have certain things that you expect from the list, you get confused. And it's like the more they expect from you, the more you pull away. Is this a trait? Is this a defensive mechanism? Is this from hurt that you've been carrying from the past? For those of you guys that are in a serious committed relationship or in a marriage, have you been dealing with your partner continuously being driven by their desires? Are you self-sacrificing yourself to make them happy? Are you turning a blind eye to their behavior because you're so scared of losing them? Scorpio, Ketu and Scorpio is going to be bringing up a lot of things that be, that have been kept in the hidden. So for some of you guys, your, you know, picture perfect family or marriage may not be so perfect and things start to come to come up where you need to stop sweeping things under the rug and deal with them either to strengthen the relationship to work on the relationship or to decide are you tired of this is this something you don't want to deal with anymore Transformation is necessary. For some of you, it could be cutting ties with people that are extremely toxic in your life. If you're dealing with the next partner, with the person that's been very toxic, manipulative in your life. Or did you deal with that and that's the reason why you're so guarded now? when it comes to love. Ideally, what Spirit is telling you here is the potential to find the person that's right for you, Aries, is very strong. But the, de the, the decision lies on you and the changes you make moving forward. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight or understanding. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.